Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Good morning, it is like 7.55. I woke up, I was so, 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 so sore. Um, so I did like a little Epsom salt, uh, the Dr. Teal's Epsom salt bath. Um, feeling a lot better, but I'm still pretty tender. Um, it really like helped the soreness, but it's still definitely there. I did upper body yesterday, but it's my legs that are sore from two days ago. So I think I'm gonna just opt for some cardio, but I have like a really bad habit of saying I'm gonna do cardio and then just like doing legs again. So I'm going to really try to get myself to do some long steady cardio. I might do the stairs. Um, I'm just gonna see how it goes. Clearly I opted to not do cardio and decided to do some strength training. So I decided to focus on glutes today. So started with some hip openers, um, which are the step throughs I'm showing. So I did three sets of 10 of these on each leg, giving a pause to kind of open up the groin. Sorry for the awkward angle here. That's just where my camera ended up. As soon as I finished, I put on my bands. Um, I put these on just above my knees and these ones, they started to slide up a little bit. So I ended up adjusting them down a little bit more, um, but I do kickbacks on each side. And I end up externally rotating my leg a little bit to really make sure I'm feeling it firing in the glute. So you can see my stationary leg is slightly bent and I'm bending forward with my body to make sure I'm hitting that glute. Moving right into some side leg raises. Here I like to put my hand on my abductor to make sure that it is firing and engaged. From here I went to the squat rack and I started with some lighter sumo squats. Um, so here I have 25 pounds on each side. I focus on dropping it low and then squeezing my glutes at the top. This is a warm-up weight for me, but use whatever would be a warm-up weight for you. Next, I'm going to up the weight by 10 pounds um, on each side. And I like to do a few hip openers in between my sets to make sure that my hips are staying really open so I can continue having great range of motion. Next, I'm moving into three sets of eight of 115 pounds. So this isn't my PR, this is definitely a weight that I can rep. But here I am going to be going up slightly in my weight that I'm using, so I am not doing my full three sets of ten that I normally would. I'm dropping the reps a little bit. It is extremely important on heavy lifting days to give yourself adequate rest in between sets. So. I do hip openers, I pace around, I try to give myself at least a minute or two between my sets so my strength can kind of regain.
Then here I'm showing the MB slingshot hip circle and I'm doing lateral steps. So this I know looks like a silly dance move. This is a move that I learned from Brett Contreras, the glute guy, and it is such a great move to get your glutes firing in between your sets. So here I just kind of shuffle back and forth giving a little toe tap and make sure that my glutes are firing and then I'm going right into some constant tension squats just to kind of keep that blood flow going and continue the time under tension. Moving on to some banded hip thrusters. So here I'm using a 70 pound barbell and then the hip circle around my knees. I'm trying to focus on keeping my knees and my toes turned out and driving that weight through my heels. So here the bench is just positioned slightly below my shoulder blades. I come all the way down to where I'm almost going to touch the ground and then come back up. You really want to focus on squeezing as you lower, so on the eccentric motion, but really you're keeping that tension in your glutes the entire time. And if you notice, I'm taking a few seconds to pause at the top of every rep. As soon as I complete these, I'm going right back into some lateral steps. Um, what I didn't show was I did step ups with this barbell on the bench, but the dude next to me kept staring at me, so I decided not to film. Push, 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 yeah, mom. Hello, so today's already been like a super busy day. I made myself a huge bowl of oatmeal. Um, I hit the gym soon after I woke up. I think I got there about eight, so I kind of slept in a little bit today, hit the gym, and then I had a protein shake. I think I still have a can. I had one of these right after I went to the gym. Well, um, so this is 170 calories, uh, four grams of carbs, 35 grams of protein, uh, one and a half grams of fat. So not too shabby. Slammed that right after, and then I went right into sessions back to back. So normally I would have eaten something, but it was just kind of one of those days. So now I am having like, a full cup of oatmeal to kind of catch up. So you could say I didn't do an intermittent fast because I had the protein shake and that like just held me over with my coffee. So now I have lots of macros to deal with for the rest of the day. Um, right now I am at like a maintenance type of split where I'm not really like tracking very much. Every once in a while I'll enter in the things that I've been eating to kind of make sure I'm staying within the range that I want to be in. Um, I'm not bulking per se, uh, but I'm definitely like at higher intake range, which is really nice. I feel really strong in the gym when I have that type of a split. Um, today in the gym, I did a glute focused workout. So I always try to get my glutes firing before I even get started um, and really make sure that I'm feeling them activated before I even start my lift. Um, so I did my little treadmill workout that I've been doing. Um, this isn't footage from what I, my workout today, but I'll just show you guys what that treadmill workout looks like. Um, and then I went right into some band work to really make sure that my peach was firing. Um, and lateral band work has been really setting my booty on fuego. So I have been doing a lot of that before I even get into my lifts. So I did that and then I went over to the squat rack and I started with 25 pound plates on each side just to kind of get warmed up and I take those squats nice and deep. For me, I feel the best in the sumo position. I feel it the most in my glutes um, opposed to my hamstrings and quads when I do more of a sumo position. So that's why you're seeing me in that position 90% of the time when I'm squatting just because it feels right for my hips. If not, I'm, I find myself leaning forward more than I already do because my legs are crazy long. 
um, and in between all of my sets, I'm doing something to kind of keep my glutes firing, whether it be like lateral steps or kickbacks. Um, and then I got footage of the hip thrusters that I did. Um, so I did heavy hip thrusters, heavy for me, I'm working my way up for, I've been doing body weight forever. And so adding in weight on my hips, I just haven't had access to it. I've been just doing a lot of like banded feet elevated bridges at home. So adding in the barbell on my hips, I'm trying to really make sure that I get the form down perfect before I add any more weight on. So that is what I did there. And then right after I finished that, I went right into some step ups with the barbell. Um, but there was like a guy working out right next to me. He seemed awkward about me filming, so I didn't film it. Um, so that's what I did. And now I'm gonna eat this. Oh, yeah. We are getting ready to head out. We have a few errands to run because we are going to the beach tomorrow. So we want to get like a little umbrella deal. Um, and then we're going to grab some stuff for dinner. And yeah, so now we're getting out of the house. Oh. Bring with us. Let's go get some popsicles to bring with we'll us to the we'll beach. Alright. Daddy, do you have the keys? Say, you want your this is dry now. Um, yeah. Not locked, Daddy. Oh, good. Thank you, bub. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And if you need more inspiration, please follow me on Instagram under Keep Going Cat.